one, two, three, four. Hi everyone. So this September, I'll be taking part in the Asia Europe Foundation's Sustainable September Challenge. I'll be setting myself a challenge to try and make my life more sustainable. So I was looking at some of the impacts that my life currently have on the environment and I sort of broke it down into three P's. Planes, palm oil and plastic. So firstly planes and what I mean by planes is air miles. I was looking at some of the fruit and veg that I currently have in my kitchen and I realised that it was from all corners of the earth. It struck me as mad seeming as the UK is in the middle of summer and we're producing all that we are. So those air miles and carbon footprint is just not necessary. So for September, I am going to only eat produce that is grown from my garden or is sourced from less than 300 miles away. Secondly, palm oil. Again, in my kitchen, I found a lot of products containing palm oil. Be that biscuits, cakes, ready meals, and it's not just in the kitchen, it's also in makeup, shampoo, cosmetics and cleaning products. And the problem with palm oil is that it is so damaging to the environment. The land used for intensive farming and clearing of plantations has destroyed 90% of orangutan habitats. And it is predicted within the next five to 10 years, if we're going the rate that we are, orangutans will be extinct. So following Iceland's lead, the supermarket, who have banned all palm oil from their, um, their own brand products as of 2019, I am not going to buy, use or have any products that contain palm oil. And thirdly, it needs no introduction, the enemy of the environment, plastic. Here are just some statistics to show how damaging plastic is to the environment, how slow it is to decompose and break down, and some really easy swaps that I will be making in order to reduce my plastic consumption. And I really encourage anyone that can to do so as well. Brings me to my September challenge. I have realized that fundamentally I need to reduce my waste. So I've decided with the last ever non-recyclable coffee cup I will ever buy, I'm gonna treat this as my bin for September. I will not produce any more waste than I can fit in this coffee cup. So that means no single-use plastic or rubbish of any kind. Given the packaging and just plastic heaven that our supermarkets, tags on clothes and packaging for cosmetics. September is going to be an interesting month but I really encourage anyone that's thinking about sustainability to try it out and see how far they get. I mean for me I've realised that it's about time I take responsibility for the impact I have on the environment. So if you are taking the challenge, good luck or if you want to set yourself another one even more luck. Thank you for watching and I'll update you at the end of September.